Well, the Ravens' big party plans for the NFL draft were one of the many things that have been impacted by the unrest in our city this now, That's week. for sure. Uh, plans for a big fans watch party at M&T Bank Stadium called off just to be cautious. Uh, but we did see the team today here in Charm City, 11 Sports Jerry Sandusky at Live in Owings Mills, where GM Ozzie Newsom will try and work his magic again tonight. Jerry, it was really something today to see the, the team and Coach Harbaugh and Ray Lewis really focused on the community. Donna, you expect a big impact from the Ravens on this. The NFL started the draft every year. The phrase around here is in Aussie we trust. They always have a big impact on draft day. But today's impact was one that preceded the start of the draft when the Ravens front office players, coaches, went out in the West Baltimore community and had a significant impact. Joe Flacco, John Harbaugh, 55 Ravens players went out into the community today. 85 members of this organization. Ray Lewis also a part of that group that went out to talk with students at three different schools, an elementary school, a middle school, and Douglas High School. The Ravens took food for 500 families into the community. And equally important, they had a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations. John Harbaugh talked with young football players, telling them the importance of being leaders, not just in their team now, but also in their school, their community, by doing the right things. Ray Lewis gave a, the type of talk that you would expect from Ray Lewis. It was from the heart. It was about dressing correctly, acting correctly, being a person who has vision, not somebody who is a victim of his or her circumstances. And John Urschel, a second-year guard out of Penn State, a young man who's one of the brightest people in the NFL, has a master's degree in mathematics, spoke to the students at Douglas High and said his mother grew up in almost identical circumstances that these kids face in West Baltimore. Baltimore. She had no support from her parents, very little support from counselors. She had no obvious way to succeed, and yet she took it upon herself to become a nurse. She raised a successful family, and now her son has a master's degree in mathematics and plays in the NFL. So the theme that the Ravens took to the community today was don't get caught up in your circumstances. Believe in your vision. Have a sense of destiny and know that you can override your circumstances if you believe in yourself. And that's what the Ravens hope to do for their entire fan base tonight when the draft gets underway. Much more on